All right, thank you. Lock that out high when you're off road. Thank you. All right, folks, I'm going to ride this uh, Pan American, so good stuff. Thanks, Peppy, man. This is really nice. Boy, it's got some juicy juice. Wow. All right. Man, I could tell you, you know, I've really never ridden a Harley Davidson, to be quite honest, folks. I've never, never really been on one. I, I, I rode a Pan American a couple of years ago. Uh, is at Whalen Wayne weekend and I'll I basically maybe rode it a mile and a half and Really could never get into it. I mean, I thought that the engine was you know peppy But that's I mean, what do you get from riding it? Maybe two miles you get nothing So this rides really gonna give me an idea of how this Pan American really rides And I have to say That The responsiveness of this throttle I mean, it's just pretty darn nice. I mean, it. And we got knobbies on. Right? I mean, that's what we're doing here. Yeah, this thing's, uh. This thing's really peppy. Let me see. Standing up on it. And I have to say the quick shifter is a lot smoother, folks. A lot smoother than my, my 21 or 23 GSA. Oh wow, that's sport mode. Holy cow. So it's, it's suspension stiffened up, you can really feel that now. But man, is that throttle just responsive as all get out. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Boy, she's planted too. Like, you can really feel her. You can really feel her sit in, like, Oh, yeah. Mirrors are different. I mean, it's kind of cool. The mirrors aren't bad. Ergonomics, good, good wind protection. And you don't have that big bulkiness that you do on the GS. Even on my GS, regular GS, not my GSA, obviously. But even on the regular GS. Now, let me switch a couple of modes here. Now I'm back into regular road mode. And boy, you can feel the dynamic, the shift in the suspension. It's not as stiff, it's not coming out of that sport mode. There's something about it, it just sits down. I mean, like, kind of get, you know, settles in. Really, so far, pretty impressed. And standing up on the first time I rode it, I didn't think I would like uh, the way you stood on it. But I think with some different, you know, like some good pegs and stuff like that, I think you could, you know, be a little bit more planted. But yeah, it's actually not that bad, the ergonomics on standing up. Yeah, I have to say that the GS has a very nice suspension, especially the suspension I put into it. But I feel like um, on my GS, like I kind of, you kind of float and kind of sit into the turns and you kind of, it's like gliding a little bit. On this one, I feel like you get planted going into the curves. If that makes sense to anybody out there, let me know. But I just feel like on my GS, I'll kind of like float, float in this stuff versus 
this feels planted like I, I feel like I'm like sinking in to the road and I don't know if that makes sense or if that's even something that's but I've been switching back between road and sport mode and I have to tell you it's uh this is this is pretty pretty nice this bike you want an American bike you want something to do adventure riding with and you want something that's going to give you some just that American grit feel of just wow I've got a machine between my legs I have to tell you this is this is this is this is pretty uh, pretty pretty awesome I am just really impressed and it handles nice to the curves even when I slow down and the gear shift is smooth but it definitely gives you that feel of wow you've got you've got a nice you got a nice grounded machine here that's got that uh again it's got that american roar man it's got that harley davidson in it and it is i have to say it's making me a little uh maybe a little envious here folks i don't know because i have to say I did not like the new 1300 from uh, BMW. And, hey, uh, what do you think? I like it. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. No, this is... You know what it makes me feel like? It's it's on our GSs, at least to me. I feel when we go through the curves and stuff, it's kind of like we glide float a little bit into the curves, you know, with our GSs, even in dynamic mode and stuff. This, I feel like we're planted into the road. Like I feel that, like it, 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 it sinks into the road and you just feel like you're on the road and the power delivery is, is pretty, pretty nice. This is really good. This is, this is. It's a really nice bike. Did you, I'm sure you did, I, I switched it between road and sport mode. Yeah. Boy, that sport mode, man, you can feel that suspension to tighten up and, and man, you're on that throttle and it just cracks. I have to tell you, I, I'm doing, I'm, I'm, this is all on video, so just FYI. So uh, I'm doing all this. What I found was unique is after riding the 1300, I, I, I don't know, this is pretty nice. I, I was I'm pleasantly surprised but you don't have the risers this makes such a big difference to me because oh yeah I, it always felt like it was too long the tank is too long the distance is too long but with this I feel comfortable and yeah I'm well yeah because you got the bar risers right yeah. yeah see I don't so but I was still comfortable enough I stood up on it and was doing my thing and but it it just feels planted into the road uh, does that that make sense to you? Absolutely. I, I, I'm, I'm, like, wow, this is a pretty nice bike. It's it's really nice. They did a, they did a nice job. I I give them credit. I give them credit. Yeah, fun bike. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Boy, it just has that Harley roar, doesn't it? What? I said it just has that Harley, you know. That Harley alarm. Sound, the vibration, everything. Oh yeah. Uh, that, that acceleration and that just get up and go is just I I, I have to give it to him. Gotta give it to him. There it is, March Motor Madness, our home. probably just got done watching my, me do my review on the Harley Davidson Pan American, which I was thoroughly like shocked, I, you know, for the most part. You know, probably the adventure community obviously gives Harley Davidson a hard time for coming into it, and I think they've actually done a pretty good job. Uh, and again, I hadn't ridden one in a few years. And again, I was, as you could tell by the video, I was completely taken aback by how well this bike was. I mean, it rode, it was comfortable. It definitely has that Harley grind to it. 
it uh, the throttle response and the quick shifter. I was again taken aback. I mean, I rode the thirteen hundred, the new GS, and very comparable. I, I mean, I have to say that very comparable engine uh, power. You know, all that stuff. I, it was very comparable. So, again, yeah, hey, I got my hat on. Uh, I, I do have to say thanks to uh, Sean Wells from uh, White Lightning, Harley Davidson in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, he's the one that uh, helped uh, put the ride together so we could uh, test the uh, Pan American. And so, shout out to Sean uh, and the team there. Uh, but uh, it was, I, again, I was pretty pleasantly surprised. So if, if you're in the market for one, I mean, I would take a look at it. I, I know that they've had their gremlins. I mean, it's a new product, new, you know, new introductory over the last three plus years. Um, from what I'm being told, they've worked a lot of those uh, issues out. Um, so if you had a 21 or a 22, uh, maybe even early 23s, I'm sure that there were some, still some some bugs in there, but it, and it's a very capable bike. So again, I was impressed. If you're in the market, you're looking for that ride. It was it was comfortable. I, I again, I was just impressed with it. So uh, again, hopefully this helps a little bit, gives you an idea, especially from someone that rides uh, a couple of GSs uh, from that world. And uh, my expectations weren't, you know, I didn't really have any high expectations. But um, take a look. You never know. Uh, uh, you know, and again. Uh, Harley Davidson's going to stand behind their product, and if there's something wrong, they'll fix it for you. And I, I believe that just like any of the other manufacturers would on a bike. So, uh, again, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.